The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present Football Media Day. Football Media Day is brought to you by Lark Brewing Company and Restaurant, Loudon's number one destination for great food and great times. And by Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. When you need to get back in the game or the game of life, call Robin O'Connor and Integrated Sports Medicine today. Hundreds of high school athletes have trusted Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy to help them get back on the field. Don't let that injury go untreated. Call Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy today at 703-724-7474 or visit us online at IntegratedSportsPT.com. It's where athletes go to get back in the game. I'm Zach Barniski, head coach of Broad Run High School in Ashburn, Virginia. I am entering my second season there as head coach. Uh, I'm, I came over from Freedom in South Riding where I was there for four years as head coach uh, and two years as offense coordinator. So I'm entering my eighth year overall in Loudoun County. Uh, a little bit about last year's team, my first year at, uh, at Broad Run. We uh, finished the season three and eight. We made a lot of advancements forward and, and start setting the standards for uh, the program that we, we put together. Um, we, had, we, had, we were lucky enough to have uh, five players go and play college football from that team. We have two down at uh, VMI University, uh, another playing at CNU, uh, and two at Shenandoah University. So, uh, you know, a big part of, of why, why we coach is to make sure that players are able to use football as a, as a means to an end, get opportunities, get into college and, and the next level. Um, our offseason started way back on December 4th. We were just talking about this with our kids on Thursday before our scrimmage, and uh, we, we have been lifting four days a week since, since December. Um, you know, big emphasis on building strength and flexibility this offseason, uh, making sure that, you know, we're developing the whole athlete. Uh, we, we do a lot during our offseason. We do things like Leadership Academy. We do things like uh, goal setting meetings with players. Uh, we, we run a football IQ class where we talk about the very basics of football. Uh, we see that today's athlete is changing. We have a lot of kids that are coming out for football for the first time. They might not watch it, so we, we invest a ton of time in our athletes making sure that uh, they're going to be ready to play uh, the season or at least give their best. Um, and that's, that's always a big part of what we're trying to get done uh, as a staff at, at Broad Run. Um, Training camp uh, started two Mondays ago. Um, you know, it's it's been it's been going really well. Uh, we're we're we've been super excited with the uh, with the progress of our players. Uh, I've been I've been lucky enough. I feel like I have one of the best staffs in all of Northern Virginia. Uh, a lot of them have worked with me uh, throughout my time at Freedom High School, now at Broad Run High School. So there's the familiarity between us about hey, how we want things to go and, and what standards we want set. Uh, and I think the biggest part is um, what we saw from the scrimmage the other night. Uh, the kids have bought into what we're trying to get done, uh, what type of program we're trying to be. So we're super excited about this team and we're, we're super excited about what they're going to be able to do. Uh, and our biggest goal is to go in and compete every week. Uh, we want to give ourselves an opportunity at the end of the game to find a way to win. Um, and I think our kids have really bought into that mindset. and. Uh, you know, we saw it throughout the whole offseason, all of training camp with the way they're practicing, uh, the effort they're giving. Uh, I'll say this is probably one of the most fun teams I've ever coached. Uh, they're just great, great kids to be around. Um, and I always say it's a lot of fun when you don't have to push effort and, and energy in practice. When you have kids that want to be there, that want to practice, uh, want to push each other to be better, it's, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, some key players returning for us. I'm, I'm going to start up front on our offensive line. Um, we have four or five starters returning on our offensive line, starting with our center, Logan Crouch. Uh, he already has an offer from VMI. Uh, he's, he's 6'4", about 275 pounds. He's, he's a big guy. Um, our right tackle, Eric Atesham, he's about 6'3", 245 pounds. Uh, he has a couple Division three offers from, from Shenandoah, uh, from Roanoke, um, from CNU. Uh, and our left tackle, Adrian Lemieux, he's, he's the biggest in the all. I think he's about 6'6", 300. 
Um, he's got he's got a couple couple offers as well. Uh, we kind of we kind of even out in the middle. We got a we got a couple of smaller guys at guard, but it's good for us because we do a lot of pulling and trap pulling. Uh, Eli Laird um, and and James Brown. Uh, so so we're pretty we're pretty solid about our our offensive line. Um, we graduated a lot of our skill positions last year. Uh, big one coming back is going to be Devin Ellison. Uh, he's going to play quarterback for us this year. He played running back for us last year. I think he had 600 yards and 12 touchdowns last year as a running back. Um, so being able to now have him touch the ball every play is something where we think he could stress defenses, uh, and, that, and that's exciting. Uh, we're going we're gonna to be running back by committee. Um, I could think of at least four or five off the top of my head that are all going to touch the ball, uh, starting with jun junior Elijah Wilburn. Um, Junior Caleb Pavlis, uh, senior Dom Molieri, uh, senior Oscar Sifuentes, uh, and then sophomore Luke Brandenburg. They've all had really nice preseasons for us. Uh, we're super excited about all of them. Uh, and the benefit is none of them have carried the ball in a varsity game. Um, so they're going to have an opportunity each week to compete. And hey, whoever comes out top, they're going to they're get the lion's share of carries that, that week. Uh, you know, we're, we're big in, in how competition is going to breed success. Uh, defensively, uh, same guys on the offense line. Um, they're they're likely going to take the way. Uh, we also are pretty excited about a junior. His name is Young Wan Kim. Uh, he's you know aggressive kid, uh, likes to get after it. He, he started the last three or four games for us defensively last year and finished the year off nice for us. So having him back on the defense line is going to be nice. Uh, we're gonna our, our Mike and our Will linebackers are going to be three juniors, kind of uh, you know linebacker by committee. Uh, you know, we have one that we're, we're super excited about, Jack Alberg. The other two we're very excited about, and they are competing uh, for that will position. One is Mason Schwanke, uh, and the other being Elijah Wilbur. Um, moving in, our defensive backs probably have the most experience. Um, you know, starting with Dom Molieri, uh, Jack Scully at free safety, uh, Cam Alberts, uh, Caleb Pavlis. Uh, so we, we have a lot of, lot of key players returning, people that have played a lot of a lot of varsity football, but we also have some kids that are young that, that have to that have to kind of get out there and, and, and figure it out. Um, I think our season expectations this year is hey to go compete every game, uh, give ourselves an opportunity to win, uh, play four quarters of good football, and and you know if, if we do those things, you know I think I think that's where we want to be, um, you know. But focus on the game that's in front of us. That's that's our that's our big our big mantra. Coach, what are the games your kids get the most excited about on the schedule? Well, I, I mean, obviously, anytime you get to play at home, uh, Broad Run's a special environment. Uh, football's important at Broad Run, and not only to uh, the football team, but also the entire school community. Uh, our kids get out, they get the games. Uh, the cheering section's fantastic. Um, you know, parents are very supportive of Broad Run. Administration is, is, is the best in all of Loudoun County. Um, so I would say anytime we play at home, um, you know, we open up this year with Riverside at home, so we're super excited about that. Uh, the other big one, we play Briarwoods. I mean, obviously with being in Ashburn, uh, 10 minute drive apart, that's a, obviously it creates that, that natural rivalry game. Uh, but here's the greatest part about Loudoun County. Every, every game, it's, it's an important one. The staffs are great in Loudoun County. Um, so. You know, I don't think there's really a week where you're like, oh, hey, you know, we're not excited for this game. So I, I feel like they're, they're jazzed every week, you know, for whoever we're playing. Coach, would you give us your thoughts on the transfer portal and how is it affecting the players and your program and their preparation for the next level? Yeah, I mean, it, it's definitely affecting them. Uh, you know, I, and I saw it a little bit about, I saw, well, I saw it a lot last year. Uh, we had a kid, Aslan Scheidt, uh, rush for 1,500 yards and 12 touchdowns last year. Uh, and I personally think he was probably the best, the best running back in the state of Virginia. Um, and he never really had those opportunities at, at the major college programs to, to go play. Um, and, and I think it's going to balance itself out. Um, you know, I think, you know, colleges are starting to look at it and say, well, you know, yeah, it might be great to take a kid, but why is that kid leaving that program? They, they might get the kid and go, well, you know, maybe it's not what I thought it was. Um, whereas I think, you know, they know what they're getting from programs in Loudoun County. You know, they know the type of player they're going to get. Um, so I think it's going to balance itself out over the next couple of years. Um, 
but it's definitely having an effect. Uh, I, I would say some of our guys that that I think could play at, at maybe a little bit of a higher level than where they landed, they kind of get pushed down, you know, the, the ladder. And I think that's very good for Division Two and Division Three football. It makes it even better. Uh, and that's you know not a slight at them, but you know I know there we have a couple of coaches that are like, yeah, this is fantastic for us. So. Um, you know, I, I think that's kind of how it's, it's been affecting from, from my point of view. Coach, uh, talk a little bit about the second year, you know, getting everything put in place. You know, I know it takes a little time, but that culture that you're trying to build. I know Broad Run's had great success over the past years, but, you know, this is your program now. Like, what, tell me a little bit where you're at in your mind about getting things put in place with your culture that you, you desire. Yeah, yeah, I always talk about um, – you know, I, I think I think a great program kind of takes on the persona of its head coach. Like when I, when you think of Stonebridge football, you think Mickey Thompson and you know Toffee's a former lineman, you know, super smart, you know, doesn't make mistakes in a game. And Stonebridge football is that, right? Um, and and I kind of, you know, we, we always look at them in the area as, as kind of the class of the area and that that measuring stick of where we want to be. Um, so I think we're in that process of, you know, kind of taking on the persona of, of myself and my staff. Uh, you know, we want to be a physical football team that uh, is going to establish a good running game and, and take advantage of, of, of the, you know, defense when they make mistakes. Uh, you know, we always talk about being a bend but don't break defense. You know, hey, you know, we could give up yards 40 to 40, but hey, when we're in the red zone or the black zone, we need to clamp down and make, you know, take advantage of opportunities when presented. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're, you know, we're super excited. Um, you know, I'd say from December 4th on, you know, we've, we've had a core group of about 40 guys really dedicated in the weight room. Um, and that's, hey, you know, they might be wrestling or playing basketball and getting in the weight room for us. Uh, they might be playing baseball or lacrosse and getting in the weight room. Because um, uh, the great thing about Broad Run, like you said, is there is history there, there is tradition. So you don't got to pull their arm too much to get them to do what they're supposed to do. Um, and I think I think it's been a lot of fun, and you know, trying to establish you know what what we want to get done at Broad Run, and and, and it, like I said, it's it's been great seeing them buy into it and 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 kind of taking on the persona that we want them to. Coach, if you can, uh, one last thing, just kind of take a look forward to week one here, and and uh, this is a little bit later than we normally would do media day, but it's kind of cool that we're coming right up on the season. So if you could give us a little bit of a snapshot of your week one opponent and uh, your thoughts on the game. Yeah, uh, we, we play Riverside week one. Um, you know, they're, they're a great program led by uh, Coach Porter. Uh, he's somebody I admire and respect in the county. You know, he's, he's, been, he's been at Riverside a long time. Uh, he was there as defense coordinator through two staffs and finally got his opportunity as head coach. Uh, and he's putting, he's putting his thumbprint, you know, on, on the program. And, you know, Riverside's going to come in. They're going to be tough. They're going to be physical. Um, you know, it's, it's something that we're, we're looking forward to. Uh, last year, Riverside got the best of us. Uh, you know, they, they beat us 39, uh, I'm sorry, 30 to 29. They hit a last second field goal as, as time was running out. And, you know, I, I think, you know, all off season, we, we've been talking about, hey, you got to finish four quarters. Uh, and that's what Riverside did last year. You know, I think they were, they're about a year ahead of where we wanted to be program wise. And, you know, coach had figured out how to get them to finish off some games last year. And, you know, they, they, they won some big games last year. And, you know, I think we're, we're ready to take that next step as well. Um, but like I said, nothing but respect for them and their staff and, and their kids. Uh, and, you know, it's something that we're looking forward to. Coach, uh, great to have you here at Game Day Media Day. Good luck this season. We look forward to following the Spartans. Thank you so much. The Game Day Broadcast Network is proud to present Football Media Day. Football Media Day is brought to you by Lark Brewing Company and Restaurant, Loudon's number one destination for great food and great times. And by Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. When you need to get back in the game or the game of life, call Robin O'Connor and Integrated Sports Medicine today. Hundreds of high school athletes have trusted Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy to help them get back on the field. Don't let that injury go untreated. Call Integrated Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy today at 703-724-7474 or visit us online at IntegratedSportsPT.com. It's where athletes go to get back in the game.